I can give you over 40,000 reasons why I know that sun isn't real. I know it because the emitter's Rayleigh effect is disproportionate to its suggested size. I know it because its stellar cycle is more symmetrical than that of an actual star. But for all that, I'll never actually know if it looks real. If it feels real. Before this is all over, promise me you'll figure out which one of us is the machine. So what's your plan? Infinity's tracked the Didax vessel to a docking structure southeast of here. We'll jump ship as Infinity exits the roof. You know, I was sent down here with orders to prevent you from leaving. In case you'd already gone, I took the precaution of ordering a pelican. Outfitted for full combat pursuit. I hope to God you're wrong about that forerunner. Or whatever he is, Chief. But in the vent, you're not. And Chief, good luck. Both of you. Come on, Chief. Take a girl for a ride. The Didact used this composer to create the Prometheans from ancient humans. If he wants to finish the job, he'll have to find it first. Our best bet to stop him is keep him firmly on Requiem. Let's hope Lasky didn't skimp on that pelican. Initiating pre-flight diagnostics. Forward auto cannon, check. Lateral rail turrets, check. Main thrusters, check. Auxiliary boosters, check. All right, keying engine. It may be a while before we find another ride home. You know that, right? It'll be okay. Contact. Didact dead ahead. How do we get inside those shields? Marking two of the larger facilities on your HUD. They're acting as traffic control for resources moving to and from the satellite. If we disrupt their communications, I can forge an override code and convince it to lower those defenses.
slight complication. There are millions of transmissions passing through this structure, not simply the ones controlling the movement through the satellite shield. Can you isolate the satellite communications? Not quickly, and shutting them all down is not an option. But destroying the system's attenuators should flood the network. Of course, if Infinity wasn't on their way back to Earth, they could overload the attenuators remotely. We'll handle it. That's hardly the point. The attenuators are housed in Faraday enclosures. I bet there's a release around here somewhere. Okay, the structure contains three central attenuators. Sever those connections and we should be good. The increased signal traffic is almost entirely blocking out the satellite communications. Only one more target left.
That's it. Transmission buffers are overflowing. Get us to the second tower. The others scattered like embers over sand. And yet the Librarian's champion is unmoved. Cortana, where's this coming from? Where's what coming from? The mantle of responsibility for the galaxy shelters all of you. But only the Forerunners are its masters. The Didact's voice. I'm not picking up anything, Chief. Who's there? Keep trying. Traffic's increasing. If we don't disable the other tower quickly, reaching the didact could become exponentially more difficult. This node's different than the previous tower. The source of the tower communications is a carrier wave generator located somewhere inside. It looks like the carrier wave generator is located at the far end of this chamber. Find us a way across. This gondola should do the trick. Look for its activation switch. out of our old playbook, I'm going to tune your shields to emit an EMP at the same frequency as the communication network. All you'll need to do to trigger it is to make physical contact with the carrier wave generator. <laughs> 